Hi, my name is Ashley. I have chosen to participate in this blogging project to offer my skills and knowledge about online learning. Last year, in 2019, I completed my Bachelor of Arts majoring in writing with the University of New England. I am now studying the Master of Teaching in Secondary Education, majoring in English at the University of Technology, Sydney. The course started on campus, but now due to the current COVID-19 pandemic, we have our classes online. I am currently enrolled in two subjects and hope to increase that amount next semester. My backstory is where I feel I can help many people who are adjusting to the new challenges associated with online learning. I first began university in 2004, studying journalism at UTS. Halfway through the degree in June 2005, I was in a head-on car accident that resulted in an acquired brain injury. The impacts were quite a disruption to my life. I still have ongoing fatigue, both physical and cognitive. That means concentration has been an ongoing issue that I have had to devise strategies for. Firstly, to function in my everyday life, and secondly, so that I could attempt to succeed at university. I feel sharing my story can help many people, especially people who may not feel that succeeding at university is possible. It can be. If I had a mentor to guide me through the process, it would have alleviated a lot of stress and given me clarity. That time period was incredibly challenging. I withdrew from my journalism course in 2007 and took three years off university to focus on recovering. I returned to UTS in 2011 to study primary education part-time. I thought this was the most suitable degree as I had to relearn many things. Due to the ongoing fatigue, I had to defer quite a lot as on-campus study was impossible for me at times. Therefore, I began searching for an online degree that could count my cre previous credit points. I found the Bachelor of Arts majoring in writing at the University of New England. I began the course in 2015. I also continued my enrollment concurrently with UTS. They transferred me into the kindergarten to year 12 education degree, as I had maxed out the amount I could defer for the primary degree. They wanted to continue, continue supporting me because they knew I was legitimate about pursuing my studies. This was incredible, as when I was a fit to attend on campus, I would take on subjects mainly to assist my recuperation and cognitive development. It offered the important opportunity to connect with people on purpose. UTS have provided me with a diversity access scholarship every semester I could attend. Even so, I still did not think finishing a degree would ever be possible for me. However, UNE were able to credit two thirds of my writing degree to my studies at UTS. I had to provide them with my certified academic transcripts and subject outlines so that they could approve the process. At the end of 2018, I had come so far that I only needed to complete five subjects online with UNE to finish my studies. I was driven to succeed. My grades improved to all distinctions and even a high distinction in 2019. It took me 16 years to complete my degree from start to finish, including all the time I took off. It is a matter of persevering, believing in yourself and taking it at your own pace. That is why I am here to answer your questions and share what can help. For the past three years, I have also privately tutored Brazilian, adult Brazilian students in English. I teach all levels from beginners to advanced. This includes reading, writing, listening, and speaking. For daily life, university studies, and the visa language exam. This is what has inspired me to get my teaching accreditation. 
because I know I can assist many people. I look forward to connecting with you and helping you overcome any of the current challenges you are facing. Bye.